everybody say goodbye to the tea room because we're moving on to the outside of this place. No more intervention quests for a while. Uh, that being said, Seraphie has something on her head. Hey, Seraphie. Sorry to bring it up again, but I was hoping we could discuss Tama. Huh? Tama? Oh, you're talking about Tama Mohime. A long, long time ago. So far back that I can't put a number on it. She and I went through some stuff. After we got mixed up with a really dangerous crowd. You mean the Order of the Circle? Tama told me about it. What? Well, well, if she dropped that name, then your Tama must be the same as the one I knew. What the shnoise is going on, anyway? Well... Dude, really? I do not remember that. Tama... did that? Hmm... I still don't fully buy it, but... Say she did sacrifice her lives. To what end? It almost sounds like the Guardians of Time. Guardians of Time? Beings from the realm of fantasy who keep watch over this big clock and use people's lives so as to alter the course of our history. Preposterous, right? As credible as tea stealing fairies. A clock that intervenes in history? That sounds just like that girl's tea room. Uh, you're right. Huh? So, does that make her a guardian of time? Make who? Big mystery, everybody, or at least something. Yeah, the, the tea room girl, she's the guardian of time. Also, what's on your head? Here, help yourselves. Oh, oh, good. G guess what I get to do after saying I I'm done with the tea room. <laughs> I can't escape it. It's my never-ending nightmare. This is going to be my hell or purgatory. Wow. So this is what the inside of this place actually looks like. Wait, guardians are real? Does this mean that fairies who steal your teeth are too? Hmm? Are you here for tea? I don't think I was expecting guests. Oh yes, I may very well have collected her lives. But whatever's done is done. <gasps> I cannot return any lives that were spent to traverse time. Sorry, but, but there's gotta be... There must be some secret trick. A secret trick? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we track down a QB? Aren't they part of the same tribe of mirages that Tama is? Huh? To manipulate time, Tama used more than one of her lives, right? If I'm not mistaken, she had what? About nine lives in total? What if we swapped some of her lives out? Then we could go back before she made her sacrifice and replace some of her lives with the lives of a QB instead. She turned time back so far she needed to use nine lives? Hmm... But you may be onto something. A mirage from the same tribe with the same kind of soul could offer some souls in Tama's place. You mean it? But, Seraphie, dude! Now that's a secret trick! Hmm? Oh. oh! Why did you say again? <laughs> okay. If you can bring me a QB, I'll help you out. So, like, the QB is a mirage? Because I haven't seen one. Where do we find it? I'll try the rumor radar. I limit the search to Yurugos and other fox like mirages like Tama. Oh, look out, kids. I think we have a winner. What do you mean, winner? It seems that some lady was killed in the Ceronian ice fields by a giant black fox. Or so I heard. In that case, Charlotta might know more about it. Let's go! That's right, everybody. We're resurrecting Taba. We're gonna pull a Chrono Trigger, essentially. Or rather, we're going to... We're gonna do what happened to Crota, and we're gonna bring him back and swap places. It's gonna be amazing, and it's, uh, uh fuck Lavos. That said, 
Let's travel to the place. Let's see, if I had my way, I'd say probably the ice region. Probably just go there. Be it Charlotte is in. I'll be good. I'd be happy. Something along those lines. There we go. I knew I could do it. It was that simple. That's the undead princess, but we don't care about that right now. What we care about is plot. Oh, hello again. What's up? Well, that's creepy. You're here about the black fox? Wait, what do you mean? Hmm. I knew the woman who was killed. She was... my aunt. Huh? What? Huh? Wait, if she's your aunt, she's gotta be. She has to be. Yes. That's correct. She was Uncle Taka, I mean, the Thane of Saronia's wife. Hang on. If that's a coincidence, it really is creepy. Tell me, why do you need to find that black fox? You wanted to share its lives? Well, good luck with that. I figured. Not the sharing type. It doesn't matter. We should still try to get our hands on its prismarium. Then why not let me help you out? I can take you to where the fox is. Refia, are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. And Rain and Lon will be there. Whoa, whoa. Let's not forget I'm going to. Oh, of course. Goes without saying. Mm-hmm. That's more like it. Okay. Well, you be careful out there. Hmm. Oh, and you don't have to turn into a cat and follow us this time. I know, I know. Just get going. Uh, okay, I guess, I guess with that, we're out to go find the Black Fox. So, uh, where is this Black Fox hiding out? It should be an Icicle Ridge. There's a path, separate from the one that leads to the harbor. It's a little harder to find. Well, why don't I go on ahead? See you at the entrance. You know, I, I gotta say... If it was in an Arctic region, you figure it'd be like some sort of Arctic fox, and its coat would be white as snow. Just, just saying, it would help it blend into the background, and thus it could ambush its prey or hapless mirages. And why well, don't I have the joyride ability? I mean, Terminator's really good at that. So that said, we gotta go on a magical path to find this mysterious fox and just go hunt it down. Take take one of its lives or something and just be like, Taba, my friend, we'll revive you. So somewhere along these lines. Oh. Raphia's right there. I could probably just talk to her and she'll be like, Over here. Dude. Never would have found this. She really did just say that. <laughs> What's going on? Alright, fine, we'll just descend, descend into this icy hell, which, God help me, I don't know what's going on. Can't escape the tea room. I'm all flustered now. You know, I'm debating about cutting these two second battles, but all the same, I think I will, just because it's all pointless. This is the place where he lost her. <laughs> What the? It's coming from over there! Hurry! <laughs> Why? That mirage! Why do I loathe it with every fiber of my being? If you were my Uncle Taka, then of course you would despise that mirage. Hmm? Is that Refia? And you? Uh, hi, uh... <laughs> Once again, I feel the pull of destiny. Boy, am I really not glad to see you. Tell me, Refia. Why is it natural? I would hate that thing. You can tell me first. Who am I really talking to? Me, a knight of the Bahamutian army. But this flesh I inhabit belonged to the human you so lovingly called Taka. His body? Then you've possessed him? So, 
Then... where is he? Dead for quite some time now. <gasps> Monster! Is that what you consider honor? Oh no. Those are the rules of this world. The human body is a weakness, the door most easily breached. <sighs> Enough of this. You will answer my question. Why do I bear such incredible enmity for that mirage? That guy whose body you're camping out in? His wife was killed by that mirage. If you look at that box and feel hatred for it, it means his memory... No, his soul still lives on inside of you. That's absurd! No trace of him could remain. And yet, the hatred inside of me, it is unmistakable. <laughs> oh, I see! Another twist of fate! Yes! Of course! And your arrival is one of the resulting kinks! I see it! Fascinating! Let us test this portentous bond and see just how fast it holds! Uh-oh. If we let that karmic coop find the black fox and kill it, won't that ruin all of our chances? Oh, let's go after him, Rain! Right! Well, I guess I guess it's the race is on. I mean, Thomas' life is only at stake, even though technically she doesn't have any to begin with. She's about the equivalent of a nobody, but even less than that, so I, I guess she on to some extent. Doesn't matter. Point is uh, we, we gotta, we gotta do the thing. Fun fact, all the, all the mirages in this place are a lot stronger, so... Uh, still no threat, but be aware. It's still annoying regardless. Oh, we're already here. Good, we beat him to it. Question, how and why? This the culprit we're after, Seraphy? Well, it does look exactly like Tama does in her more regal form. All right, then let's imprison it! Oh, but don't forget that it has multiple lives. For now, forget about imprisoning it. You should focus on defeating it. All right, then that's what we'll do. Lon, you ready? Right on, and then it can give us its souls! <laughs> All you need now is a hood and a scythe. Yeah, a hood and a scythe. I agree completely. Let's, uh, let's see what we're up against. Everybody, everybody's probably just wondering what, what the heck is this? So it's a Kyubi. Pretty obvious. Uh, it has a little bit of health. No resistances or weaknesses. Uh, oh, looks like you can blind it. Yeah. So if you get any blind abilities, go for it. Other than that, I mean, I might as well just heal up a little bit. There we go, look. Oh, you got dark abilities. That That's cool. Alright, let's see, what we got? Uh, you know, I haven't shown off dark mysteries. Let's try it a little bit. Oh yeah, Owl Flame's gotten wicked. But that said, I mean, uh, Tremor. Yeah, why well, no, not? Let's, let's do a little bit of a Tremor ability. Not, not nearly as impressive. So, Kyubi is a fox. Very much akin to Ninetales, except a lot better because Ninetales was kind of an average Pokemon. But in this game, uh, you're, you're pretty damn sweet if I do say so. Wouldn't mind having you on my team. Of course, that means I'd have to get Tama back. I haven't really used Tama because technically back in the day I was going by Nuzlocke rules and she kind of died and so that was unfortunate. But all the same, since we're reviving her, I might just say, hey, she just pulled a Lazarus. Ooh, you got Blaze, but still at the same time didn't do dick to me. 
You know, I'm just putting on the rinse and repeat button because there's not much of a point in doing anything else. I mean, we pretty much got this in the bag. You can't really do a whole lot. Granted, you're chipping away at my health, but I can heal at any time. So, yeah. Uh, QB. Not all that impressive if I do say so myself. You're already almost dead. Oh, jeez, you really are almost dead. All right, well, uh, I hope you like this battle because, I mean... What really all happened here? Not a lot. Well, that said, I think I'll end the part here. You guys just watch this as it goes down. 